like all physical and chemical processes, chemical reactions involve the transfer of energy, which is the capacity to transfer heat or do work. To simplify our lives, chemists tend to study chemical reactions under constant pressure conditions, which enables us to measure the heat transferred during a chemical reaction. Under these conditions, the heat transferred between the system, that is, the reactants, and the surroundings, everything else, during a chemical reaction is called the reaction enthalpy, or delta H. Enthalpy has the same units as energy, usually joules or kilojoules. Physical or chemical processes, including chemical reactions, can either release or absorb heat from their surroundings. Processes that release heat, that is, they make stuff warmer, are called exothermic, and they have negative enthalpy changes. Delta H is less than zero. Combustion reactions are virtually always exothermic. That's what makes fire hot. Processes that absorb heat or make things colder are called endothermic, and these have positive delta H. These processes are somewhat less common than exothermic reactions, but ice melting and the process that occurs inside instant cold packs, the kind that you pop and they quickly get cold, are both endothermic. We represent the thermicity of a reaction using thermochemical equations, basically just balanced chemical equations with the reaction enthalpy listed to the right. The important thing to note is that we typically represent reaction enthalpies in units of kilojoules per mole. This value tells us how much energy is released or absorbed for each mole of reactions that occur. So, for instance, if a single molecule of ethanol combusts, this is the balanced equation, 2.011 times 10 to the minus 21 kilojoules of energy are released. So if one mole, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, of ethanol combusts, then 1,211 kilojoules are released. So this reaction has delta H equal to negative 1,211 kilojoules per mole. Two helpful rules apply to thermochemical equations. First, if you multiply a thermochemical e equation by some value, its enthalpy is also multiplied by that same value. And second, if you reverse a chemical equation, its enthalpy changes sign. 